Algebra 113.2b, squares of binomials. Now, if you are just starting algebra, this is not from chapter 5. We're not going to teach you how to square binomials. This is quadratic equations and squares of binomials, okay? So you want to go back to videos that start with a 5, okay? Because that's chapter 5. This is chapter 13. So if you haven't watched 13.1, 1a, b, c, or 13.2a, you're going to get lost or confused if you don't know how to do quadratic equations. So my advice is go in the description of this video, watch those four videos real quick, and then come back to this one, okay? You're w very welcome to follow along if you can, okay? But this one is very important, 13.2a. So we can solve a quadratic equation by factoring one expression into a binomial square. And we can extend the square root method from the previous video, 13.2a, that's why I wanted you to watch it, to quadratic equations of the form x plus a squared equals k. Now in the previous video, we had ax squared equals k instead of this. And when the coefficient b of the x term is 0, when in this quadratic equation, when b is a 0, that means 0 times x. So we don't even need to put it in the equation, do we? So we've got ax squared plus c equals 0 by taking that out. See, I've got it covered. So we've got ax squared plus c. If we subtract c from both sides of the equation, we end up with ax squared equals a negative c. That's where the k came from. We first solve for x squared, and then we find the square roots. So we ended up with this as our equation from the last video. You really want to watch that, okay? If you're confused, you missed it, okay? It's like watching a movie and they told you who the killer was and you are all confused because you don't know who the killer was, all right? So go back and find out, all right? Now, to solve x minus 5 squared equals 9, as we've talked about before in this playlist and other videos, we can take this little two exponent square off and flip a radical sign to this side. And that gives us x minus 5 equals a positive or negative square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is a 3, isn't it? But we're going to keep it here for now. So to isolate this x, we're going to add 5 to each side. So now we've got x equals 5. It's a positive 5 plus or minus the square root of 9. Now we're going to do this guy. 3 times 3 is 9. So now we've got x equals 5 plus or minus 3. And because these are rational, we solve it as x equals 5 plus 3, which is 8, or x equals 5 minus 3, which is 2. So our solutions are 8 and 2. That was kind of easy, wasn't it? You take this 2 exponent, you get rid of it by flipping a radical sign to that side, you isolate x, and you find your solution. Okay? Let's try this one. This is a binomial square of x plus 2 squared equals 7, and... We want to isolate the x, so we take away 2 from each side of this equation. This becomes a 0 pair, so now we have x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 7. Now, because this, this square root of 7 is irrational, it's not a perfect square, we leave it underneath that radical sign. And we've got to open up this plus or minus, so now we've got x is equal to a negative 2 plus square root of 7, or x is equal to negative 2 minus the square root of 7, and that's our solutions right here, these two. And the 7 is going to stay underneath the radical sign, okay? Let's try this one. We have to remember what the quadratic form of an equation looks like, and this is a quadratic equation, isn't it? It fits the description. And do you notice anything about the 16 and the 64? The 16 and the 64 both have 8 as a factor, so we just factor this as a binomial square. Again, that's video 5.10b. If you've forgotten, take a quick few minutes to watch the video. My videos aren't that long, and it'll refresh your memory, okay? And if you don't know what this is at all, then you've gotten way in deeper by many chapters, deeper than you should be. And you need to go back and find out where in the playlist for Algebra 1 that you need to start and move forward from there, okay? So... We can factor this as a binomial square, and we get x plus 8 squared equals 17. So now, to get rid of this little 2, we take it off and flip the radical sign onto this side. Now we have x plus 8 equals a positive or negative square root of 17. This is irrational, isn't it? So when we isolate x, we 
take away 8 from each side of the equal sign and end up with, because this is a zero pair, x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 17. I'm going to keep it underneath the radical sign because it's irrational. And our answer is x equals negative 8 plus square root of 17, negative 8 minus square root of 17, okay? And this negative 8 plus or minus square root of 17, it's because this, the square root of 17 is irrational, and this is an abbreviation of both of these equations. So when this is irrational, we can just write it like this with the plus or minus, but when it's got a rational answer like this, like we did over here, it was 5 plus or minus 3, and you should always be finishing this and solving it completely as 5 plus 3, 5 minus 3 to get your 8 and 2, all right? It's just when you have this irrational sign in here that you can throw this in as an abbreviation, all right? And like always, in the description, there are tons of links to help you. One click away. Previous videos, similar helpful videos on this topic. Our next video is going to be 13.2c, and we're going to do word problems involving quadratic equations. We're going to actually do a tennis ball being hit by Emma and watching it go and see its velocity and everything. And we're also going to do an interest problem about money in a bank account. If you want to see that binomial square video for review or the previous one about ax squared equals k or any of the previous videos that might help you, they're all in here. Lots and lots of links in this description. So it's easy to just go scan through them, click on them, and see which ones might help you instead of having to figure them out on YouTube. All right? This way, you know which ones that you can click on by just scanning through a list of ones that are on that topic. Okay? All right. I'll see you next video. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.